Hello, and welcome to This Happened Today in History for February 10th. I am your host, Mr. Miller. This podcast will cover a number of topics that happened on this date in history. Please visit the podcast webpage at thishappentoday.buzzsprout.com to download the This Happened Today in History worksheet. This will help you organize your information as well as develop your own ideas on how these events change the world around us. If you're interested in hearing more, please consider subscribing so you will not miss out on what happened tomorrow in history. Our first event happened in 2009 when two satellites crashed in space over Serbia. The Iridium-33 was a live U.S.-owned communication satellite, and it collided with a retired Russian military communication satellite called Cosmos-2251. One estimate says that a collision between satellites and other space junk is roughly 1 in 50 million chance. That's pretty slim. However, as the number of satellites in use and those no longer in operation increase, the chances of collisions will increase. According to the tracker at n2yo.com, as of today there are 20,000 different objects being tracked in the sky with more being launched every month. The tech conglomerate SpaceX has been launching many low earth orbit satellites into space recently and their current goal is to have approximately 12,000 satellites in place for a worldwide broadband internet connection with the potential to add an additional 30,000 more. That's a lot of debris to wade through for the space agencies as they continue to launch crews to the International Space Station and beyond. Our second event took place in 1942 Glenn Miller won a gold disc for the single Chattanooga Choo Choo. He's the first person to win this award. Glenn Miller was a big band composer and an arranger in the 1930s and early 40s. His sound was different than most of the bands playing in the time period, and Miller had a good handle on what the people were looking for in music during this time. In total, Glenn Miller had 69 number one hits, better than both Elvis and the Beatles. His song Chattanooga Choo Choo was the first gold disc recipient, meaning that the song had sold over 500,000 copies. Today, with streaming audio and digital downloads, that number could be easier to hit, but back in 1942, that meant that he was able to sell 500,000 copies of his single on a 78 RPM record. That's a lot of shellac. Finally, in 1941... A mail route was created between Washington, D.C. and Harrisonburg, Virginia, and the mail for this route was carried on buses, which were built with facilities aboard for sorting, handling, and dispatching of mail. These buses were built as a replacement for the railway mail service and could haul approximately 150 mail sacks. The postal workers worked in tight quarters and were able to sort the mail into letter boxes en route to the destination. This new route was the first, and others were delayed until 1946 due to the onset of World War II. The highway post office routes grew to more than 130 and were used extensively until the early 60s when the postal service was reconfigured. The use of highway post office buses was discontinued in 1974. You have been listening to the This Happened Today in History podcast for February 10th. I thank you for listening, and I hope that you have enjoyed learning about historical events from the past. I would like to thank the following websites for their information regarding today's topics. ThePeopleHistory.com and their daily posts of things that happened today. N2YO.com for space tracking information. Smithsonian Institute webpage on highway post office buses. The music used as the background track for this podcast is Americana, created by Kevin McLeod on Incompetech.com. If you enjoyed this information and would like to hear more, please consider subscribing as this will keep historical events in your feed in the morning every day. I hope you have a great day.